What's up, world? This is Alexander Playtime Woods with PlaytimeCares.com giving you a full NXT recap. NXT, exclusively on the WWE Network. This one is NXT 357. It's October 5th, 2016, Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida. Tom Phillips, Corey Graves are your commentators. It started off with uh, essentially a recap of the Dusty Rhodes uh, Tag Team Classic Tournament from last year with uh, uh, Finn Balor and Mojo winning that last year. Then they went to your first match of the night. It was the Bollywood Boys versus also Payne, which is actually a first round match, tag team match for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Um, what can I tell you about this match? The crowd was chanting, please don't die. The crowd was chanting, please don't die. That lets you know how that match went. Um, this was a quick match. Author of Pain made quick work of them boys, put on that side, Russian leg sleep, clothesline, combo, tag team top, uh, tandem that I like, and um, just ended that one. Match was a two out of five, quick match, quick win. Then, of course, they talked about Dan Matha uh, premiering tonight. You know, he's finally going to show up. And then they went to your second match. You had Rich Swan versus Patrick Clark. I just have to say that I like Patrick Clark. It's a throwback to old wrestling when you had people like Gorgeous George in there that just irritated people because of the fact that, you know, he was flamboyant and you didn't know whether or not he was homosexual or not. I loved it. I love his persona. NXT cameras stop going, stop showing them, and they just show the reaction from the crowd. I wish I knew what he was doing. They would show the reaction of, of Pat, uh, of, of Rich Swan. It was excellent. I hope to see more of Patrick Clark. Um, the crowd was really into, you know, Swan. Let's go, Swan chance. Can you handle this uh, chance uh, constantly? You know, they singing this theme song. When it was all said and done, they put on a really, really strong match. The match is a two out of five, but it's a strong two out of five. Um, with Rich Swan winning it, he did kind of like a somersault into a backflip type um, splash for the win. And then um, they cut away to a recap of uh, Andrade's Almas, you know, Mr. Cien, his match against Cedric Alexander from two weeks ago. Well, of course, where uh, Cedric won it and um, Mr. Cien gave him his props. So they said that they were going to team up tonight and that they were going to battle the revival for the first round of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic Tournament. Uh, they went to a recap of Liv Morgan versus Oscar from um, last week. And, uh, you know, Oscar made quick, very quick work of Liv Morgan. She was obviously out of her league. And, you know, they um, show that Oscar said that nobody's ready for her in the women's division. And then they show Billy Kay and Peyton Royce laughing at Liv Morgan while she was getting treated by the physician. So, of course, the next match, your third match is uh, Peyton Royce with Billy Kay, you know, ringside versus Danielle Carmilla. And, um, man, this match was uh, something else because... I mean, it was an average match, and I was I was hoping that it didn't end up being a one out of five, just a forgettable match, but it ended up being a two out of five average match. Uh, the ladies missed a lot of bumps with each other. Um, the match wasn't very fluid, but uh, they did eventually get it to be a little bit more decent as they um, carried on with the match. Uh, Peyton, she ended up getting kind of like a snap suplex uh, pin over Camilla. Like I said, it was it was an average match. It was a two out of five. Then they cut away to Bobby Roode and Ty, Ty Dillinger being interviewed about uh, about you know the preparations and things like that for their tag team match in a, a turn, Dusty Rose tournament. And no matter what Ty Dillinger tried to do, Bobby Roode kind of just. Uh, you know, just up the ante. He just was, he, he was just glorious, I must say. So, you know, no matter what, how Ty tried to answer, Babaru just gave a glorious response for the glorious 10. And um, they revealed that Sanity would actually be the opponent for the glorious 10 next week. So, been 
curious to see what Sandu is about. So we get to see it in the Dusty Rose Tag Team Tournament next week against the Glorious Ten. Dan Matha. He finally is making his debut. And he's in a ring. He's showing off all his muscles and whatnot. And the crowd's stirring. And who comes in? But Samoa Joe is start whooping the young man. Samoa Joe grabs the mic and says something like TikTok, TikTok, who else going who's gonna be next to get rocked or something like that? And um says more of the future NXT stars are gonna suffer because real William Regal refuses to make a decision. He said, Look, either you give me Shinsuke Nakamura or you strip the title from Shinsuke Nakamura and give it to me. And he said, look, you have one week. Otherwise, I'm going to escalate matters. So that would be cool. Let's see what happened. Then they interviewed No Way Jose and uh, Rich Juan and asked him why they're going to tag up together for the Dusty Roll Tag Team Tournament. And it's like, look, you know, they essentially said that they mesh. You know, they feel each other's story and that they, you know, that they, they can they, they can really feel each other. And uh, they went away saying, can you handle this? No way. Jose, can you handle this? No way. Jose. Then they reminded us that Sanity will premiere next week. Of course, they're going against the Glorious 10. And your fourth and final match was Andrade, Cien Elmas, and Cedric Alexander teaming up against the Revival for another first round match of the tag team tournament. And the Revival really getting handled. They were getting dominated at the beginning. But, um, you know, you can't beat experience. Even though they were getting uh, dominated, they eventually got Cien and start working on his arm, his left arm and his left shoulder. And um, to the point where the crowd is chanting, we want Cedric. And, you know, Cedric finally got in. He's handling his business again. But, you know, the revival, they're crafty. They know how to, you know, to strike the referee and get, get the advantage by cheating and things of that nature. They did that. Eventually, Cedric fell uh, victim to the shatter machine. And that was the end of the match. It was a strong two out of five. The Revival wins and they go to the second round of the tournament. And, you know, CN is, you know, kind of like patting um, uh, Cedric on his back and whatnot. Then he attacks him. Just whoop him, whoop him outside of the ring. Picks him up, throw him on the steps, kind of knock him out. Then he came back and stomped him in his face for, for one final good measure. If you don't want to know why it is that he did what he did, go to WWE.com and um, look at the exclusive interview under the NXT section. Hey, he said a lot of it in Spanish. If you know what he's saying, hey, put it in the comments so I can know what he's saying. Let me know that you uh, interpret it for me. Hey, that's it for NXT 357. Um, follow me on PlaytimeCares.com. I do more than just wrestling recaps. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on social media. I'm always Playtime Cares. Playtime out. Mm -hmm.